Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2025 ski test. Today we're talking about the Armada E-Dolo. Uh, if you're not familiar with E-Dolo, uh, that is Henrik Harlow's nickname. If you're not familiar with Henrik Harlow, probably this ski isn't for you, and I would encourage you to go take a look at Henrik Harlow's skiing because the guy is incredible. Um, one of those skiers that could, could be described as your favorite pro skier's favorite skier. Uh, pretty much well liked across the board. He's got an awesome personality and his skiing is equally impressive as it is unique. Um, and this is his ski. You know, it's designed for what he wants to do, what he needs his ski to do. And Henrik as a skier is really cool because you'll see him going massive. Um, you don't see him in too many formal competition environments anymore, uh, but he still goes ridiculously big sometimes. And then alternatively, you'll see him literally in his own backyard, like jibbing PVC rails. The guy just loves skiing and he can't stop skiing. And he needs this ski to do all of those things. It needs to be supportive for going big, but still fun and, and jibby when you're just doing little fun, small tricks. So pretty cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. The, uh, the, the rest of the Armada twin tips, or I shouldn't say the rest, but the bulk of the Armada twin tips have kind of changed over the last two years. So the ARV and the ARW skis uh, now have more rocker than they ever did before. They're a little bit lighter uh, and softer flex patterns too, pretty much across the board. And with that change, if anything, this Edolo is kind of sort of harnessing the performance of the previous generation, a little heavier, a little stronger overall. Uh, so yeah, if you're like Henrik and you're going big, this is one that's definitely worth considering. Um, poplar and ash wood core in this ski, the construction's not too complicated by any means. Uh, pretty much just that wood core, no like crazy metal or carbon additives in this ski, but there's definitely some heft to it. Um, I'm pretty darn sure we're, we've got the 180 centimeter length here. Double check real quick. Yeah, so this is the longest available length, the 180. And it does come in almost at 2100 grams. So it's certainly, I'd say among twin tip skis, this is 95 under foot kind of in that category. This is on the heavier side of the spectrum. So definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, one of the reasons for that is Henrik uses like the thickest base material and edges that you can source, period. Uh, so it's designed to be strong. It's designed to withstand to a lot of abuse. So it's not terribly surprising that it's heavy, but that is important to remember. Uh, and then you could kind of say the same about the flex pattern. It's not like jarringly stiff, but again, like among twin tip park skis, it's a relatively stiff flex pattern. Uh, what I like about it is it's very round and it's kind of like perfectly matched to the rocker profile and the tips and tails, which we can look at here. Um, you know, if you had this flex pattern and you had a ski that was like all camber, it would make things like nose butters pretty challenging. Uh, Henrik, that's one of the things that he's known for is, is working in nose butter takeoffs into his tricks and having this amount of tip rocker up here, even though it's kind of on the stiffer side, definitely lets you just keep bending this portion of the ski into those long controlled butters. Um, perhaps interesting that there's not as much tail rocker back here, but Henrik is kind of a, a traditionalist as a skier, or he at least like often pays homage to the skiers that inspired him. Uh, and I, I kind of feel like that's part of the reason why he's got less rocker in the tail, likes that strong finish to a turn when he's out there just ripping around. Um, so that's the E-Dolo. It's a great ski, 95 underfoot, uh, pretty like, traditional shape overall. There's not crazy early taper. There's not crazy rocker profiles or anything like that. Uh, if you are looking for <clears throat> that kind of, say, traditionalist twin tip park ski, 
this is a really, really good one. And a lot of skiers do like that with this shape, kind of with the extended side cut shape, you get a lot of feedback and a lot of responsiveness from the ski. And if you're used to that, you know, if you've been like, if you grew up in my generation, that's basically all you had for choices as a park ski. Uh, and, and a lot of people still really, really like that feel. So pretty strong, you know, pretty stable. It, it can support landings on hundred foot tables. You can go massive in the, in the, in urban environments, you know, you can do all sorts of stuff, bomb drops, uh, big rail hits, stuff like that, but it is playful enough. It's not like too overpowering. You can go out and just like hike a rail in your backyard for a couple hours and, and have a great time. So pretty cool. And I, I think it's uh, exceptionally cool that the E-Dolo is so much different than say the ARV 94, that ski feels lighter, has more taper, has more rocker. So you definitely have some nice choices depending on which direction you want to go within Armada's line. So that's it. That is the Armada E-Dolo. Uh, let us know if you have any questions about it and we will see you out there on the slopes.